Welcome back to my channel, Data BI SQL. Uh, so in today's video, uh, right, uh, we will continue with the Amazon SQL interview question series, uh, and this is part 13 of the series. So if you if you have already not looked at my other parts, you can you can go ahead and look at it. I'm going to put this video also in the playlist. There's a playlist for this, so it has all 13 videos. So you can go and look at my other videos as well. Uh, uh, but but we, we can we can go ahead and uh, the part 13 uh, today. So uh, before uh, I get started, right? I mean, I request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and please like my video. So that gives me a lot of encouragement to uh, to create this kind of videos. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's uh, it's uh, uh, you know it, it it takes a lot of time for me to prepare the data needed for this uh, for this uh, queries and it, it it takes a lot of effort to you know kind of go through the concept and go through go through various concepts. So. Uh, uh, I, I request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and like my video. So let's get started. So in today's video, right? And this is very important video, I would say, because it covers like a lot of things, like a lot of filtering conditions, I would say. And then it covers uh, uh, something like date part function, uh, something like extracting the age. And also it covers, uh, 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 it'll, it'll cover the group by and subquery. So it kind of covers uh, all the uh, all the concepts. Uh, which I would say this would be uh, uh, the the query that qualifies for kind of intermediate to advanced SQL. It's not a it's not a straight straightforward simple. Uh, you know, uh, uh, sim you cannot say this is the simple level. This is something like medium level. It it can be asked in the interviews uh, for uh, senior uh, BI engineers, senior data engineers, and data engineers and so on. So let's get started. So uh, over here they have given one table. Uh, select. A star from customer dim customer underscore dim. So it's basically a customer table, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, it has unique customer ID. Uh, it has a full name of customer, the birth date of customer, the item purchase date. So here you are seeing that they are giving the item purchase date directly in the in the dimension table, which is kind of little unusual, uh, right? I mean, you will have the item related data item. Uh, and everything in the fact table. So, but but that's fine here. They have purchase date, and they have they have given an item spent amount also. Okay, so basically they are giving that on this date, on an aggregate, uh, this particular customer spent how much of how much of money, like so twelve hundred dollars for example, for Lisa Johnson. Uh, which city the customer is living in? What is the state and what is the country? Right. So uh, you you can see that there are there are different countries listed here. So one is U.S., one is Canada. And one is France, right? So, so there are there are three different countries. Uh, uh, so, the look at let's look at the question. So, it is saying that how many customers older than 40 years old by state have spent at least thousand dollars, right? So, uh, so, 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 what does that tell us? That tells us that basically they are saying that 40 years old uh, by state and thousand uh, dollars, okay. Uh, so, uh, so when you say at least thousand dollars, right? So that they are looking for some kind of a filtering, right? I mean, that should click your mind. So if you see the amount spent, there are eight hundred dollars, two thousand dollars, fourteen hundred dollars. So immediately it should click to you that okay, eight hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred are are kind of disqualified from this query, right? Like like they'll they'll be excluded because it's not going to meet meet this condition, even if it's going to meet other condition, right? Uh, they are not giving any or condition here if you see right so it's end condition and this will get excluded right so that's one filter what is the other filter uh, the other filter is uh, by state right so they are saying it's it's not a filter but by state means what they are telling you to group by state right so if you see the state if you see the state you have Toronto uh, as a state you have uh, you have GA as a state uh, right uh, you have CA as a state Texas as a state so they are they are telling you to group by state, right? So if you see, there are three people, four, three people living in California, uh, two in Texas, two in Toronto. So uh, basically, by, by by state means it just click click to your mind. It's, it's a group by, right? Older than 40 years old, right? So older than 40 years old. How will you how uh, how do you know the age from the birth date, right? So birth date is 1980, 1984. So uh, you need to extract the birth, birth date, right? So you need to make sure that 40 years. So so you can do a, uh, you can basically from today till last 40 years, it's roughly basically anybody who is born before 1982, right? That's a 40 years time time period, right? So that's also kind of click, uh, it'll click you that if they are saying that anybody born before 80, 82, the people who are born after 82 are automatically disqualified, right? From this query, 
so 1984 1992 1990 1988 all of those people will be will be out okay so uh um, uh, so so let's let's get started with the query right so since since they are saying by age definitely it will need a group by and they are saying how many customers so how many customers means they are asking for a count right so count of customer group by state right so that makes that that's kind of straightforward right you you will you will probably you know uh, gauge it from here that uh, it's it, they are asking for a count of customer id by state right so let's get started with the query uh, so for what we can do is first we can first we need to get all the customers, right? So uh, what we'll do is first we'll get all the customers. Uh, let's just get the table uh, name out there first, right? So let's just get the customer uh, IDs and state. So what we are trying to do is we'll first take the raw data here, right? First thing is to get the raw data, get all the customers uh, and then and their state, right? Uh, 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 along with the filtering condition that is there, right? So from where, what they are saying, spend at least $1,000, right? So so $1,000, how will you get? You need to have item underscore spend underscore amount, right? What they're saying, at least $1,000, so greater than $1,000, okay? And now how to get the age? Right. So how to get the age? So in Postgres, uh, there is a there is a function called date part and there is a function called age. OK, uh, why date part? Because we need to extract the year, right? We need to extract the year right uh, from the from the date. Correct. Right. So we need to extract the year uh, because they are asking, right, 40 years old. Correct. So what this will do is this will give a difference of uh, and, and this will give the year. And age is the function which will give you the age. Okay, so age is the function which provides you the age actually in uh, uh, years, months, and days, right? Because 42 years, 50 days, something like that, right? Uh, 42 years, 10 months, 50 days, something like that, right? But here we are looking for only the 40 years, right? We don't care they are like three months after 40 or five months after 40. We don't care. We just care about 40, right? So we can put a, put a date. We can put a date part function here then extract the year and then age is what is going to give you the birth date, right? So age of the birth date, right? That's what we are trying to see. So birth date is here, this is the column. So what it will do is it will automatically calculate the age, right? It will do sys date minus birth date, right? And there is an age function available directly. So why not use it, right? So uh, uh, it will directly calculate the age. So let's see what this gives, right? So if we see this, it's giving the age, right? So what we can do is we can select the customer name also right so let's let's do one thing and i'll post this uh, scripts also right uh, uh, in 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 the comment section uh, all of you have been asking for the script so uh, like you know what is the what is the ddl script like how to create table script insert into script right so as you can see i already have this ready so i'll post it in the comment section okay uh, full name date part correct so if you run this query you can see that all of their ages coming up in the in the uh, in the format that we want, right? 42, 37. So we want only the guys with 40, right? Greater than 40, correct? So what we will do is here we will say, okay, we will say date underscore part, right? Year, okay. And then we will say age of birth underscore date. Okay. Is greater than 40. That's what our answer, right? That's what that's what we are looking for. Okay. So we got it, right? Anybody who is basically getting thousand okay thousand dollars who have spent more than thousand dollars we got the customer ids and their respective state so now if you see here texas has one customer paris has one customer california has two customer and Toronto has one customer right so now what the, the question is how many customers by state so what you can do is we can make this as a subquery okay can make this as a subquery name it as a name this table as a and then say select 
a dot state and count right because we want count correct count of customer ids right okay and then group by a dot state correct how many customers older than 40 years we got we take care of that by state we took care of that the count of customer id we took care of that took care of that and have spent at least $1000 uh, we took care of that as well right so let's Why? Because okay, because we are treating this as a table, right? We are treating this particular subquery as a table, right? So we need to put a from clause. Okay. See, California had two, Paris had one, Texas has one, Toronto has one, right? Okay. So that's our answer, right? So what the concept we covered here? We concept we covered the concept of group by. Uh, we covered the concept of count function, right? And then we covered the concept of subquery because this is a subquery. We wrote a subquery first, right? And then we got it uh, from there, right? We we put it in a subquery and then we got our final result. We covered the various filtering condition and then we covered the uh, age part, right? How, how can you extract the, the year of number of years for, for the age, right? We covered the age function and how to, how to extract the year out of that, right? Uh, no, uh, how many years uh, old, right? So that's what we covered. Okay. Now uh, this can even be they can they can even even uh, you know uh, further expand this, right? So if you see this, if you saw this, if you saw the data, they said, uh, you know, they it has different conditions. So they will say, how many customers older than forty years old by state have spent at least thousand dollars and residing in and residing in us okay so what does that mean that means that they are looking for only customers which are in us correct so what we need to do here again we need to put and country is equal to us correct so now if you if you further put this filter what you get? You get only three customers, right? Because other were Toronto and France, right? So that's why you have to, uh, those will get excluded. Okay. So you have two from California, one from Texas, right? So once, if you run this query again, what you will get is you'll get California to Texas one. That's our answer. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, you know, uh, it's, uh, if you see when we built the query and completed the query, it looked simple, right? I mean, uh, we just created a subquery and then we uh, did a count function out of that. But when the question is given to you in the exam, right? I mean, in the, uh, no, sorry, not exam, but let's say uh, in the interview, right? Uh, you know, uh, you might get confused, you know, that, oh, how many, uh, how many conditions are there, right? I mean, how many conditions are being asked for? But just keep a cool mind, I would say. Uh, like I have mentioned in my other videos also, just try and understand the question, look at the table and data, and then try and put it in your mind first, like what all the things are needed, right? I mean, try and structure the query in your mind, right? I mean, what all the things are being asked for and go one by one, right? So how many customers means count function by state means uh, by state to group by. So this count and group by will go together older than 40 years, uh, but date is given. So that means it's a filter have spent at least $10,000, uh, sorry, $1,000. That means it's a filter uh, and deciding in US, uh, the country column is given and in US, that means that's also going to filter. So when you have have this kind of a structure in your mind, right? I mean, we will have three three conditions, a filter, and then we need to have uh, a group by state and then we want to have the count uh, by customer ID, which of these two will go together, uh, right? Uh, in a, uh, a group by and, and, and the count Right, I mean, state and count will go together. So once you have all these things, right, I mean, uh, placed uh, together, right, I mean, uh, it became so simple to write the query, right. So just uh, just keep your mind cool, uh, structure the query, and then go from there. Uh, so uh, that's it for uh, today, guys. I hope that today's video was very useful to you guys, right. I mean, uh, uh, I I want to thank all of you for your for your, all the supports you have shown till now. I get very go very good and positive uh, comments uh, in 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 the uh, in all the videos and and please keep up that you know I I definitely want to know the feedback from you guys 
uh, uh, so I, I again request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. That's going to give me a lot of encouragement to create this kind of videos. Thanks guys.